Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will solve another problem that was asked by a brother regarding uh, finding the number of uh, firms in a perfect competition. The question is like this. The cost function of each firm in an industry in the long run is given by. So we have the cost function of one individual firm is given by that is C is equal to Q cube minus 10 Q square plus 35 Q where Q is the quantity obviously the industry demand is uh, that is uh, given by d is equal to 2500 minus 200 p okay where p is the price firms are maximizing profit okay uh, find number of firms we have to see the number of firms in the industry okay now let's see what we are being given here we are being given uh, obviously the cost function of an individual firm and we uh, assume here that the firms are identical so uh, this uh, cost function will uh, represent other firms also okay so it is given by q cube uh, minus 10 q square plus 35 q this is the cost function of one industry sorry one firm and also we are being given demand that is d is equal to 2500 uh, minus 200 p okay this is the uh, this is the industry demand okay so this is the industry demand this is the individual firm's cost function okay we have to see the number of firms okay now to uh, solve this question uh, what will we do we will just uh, find out the individual firm's optimal output level okay at what uh, point uh, rather a what will be the optimal output uh, for individual firm okay now since we are being also told it is long run okay we have long run and also firms are maximizing profit here okay so i will write here a uh, long run long run will imply okay in the long run what happens the firm is earn uh, what we call zero I am not able to write it correctly zero profit okay so in the long run firmers earn zero profit you know and that means uh, the price will be equal to so if I can draw it here let's draw the diagram uh, to make it more uh, Sensible here. So uh, we have the average total cost. Let us say this is our average total cost or average cost function. Okay. And also we have the marginal cost. Let me draw a marginal cost like this. Okay. So uh, in long run, uh, firms earn zero profit. By zero profit, we mean that uh, price price is equal to average total cost or i am writing here ac it means average total cost okay that means uh, if i can this is the graph of the individual firm so here we have the quantity and he, here we have the price and other stuff that is average cost and marginal cost so this line let me write in the long run price is equal to average cost also we are being told that the firm is maximizing profit okay so it is also profit maximizer by profit maximization in perfect competition we mean that the firms will produce at a point where price is equal to marginal cost okay so we have two conditions here long run will imply zero profit and by profit maximization we mean price is equal to price is equal to marginal cost okay that means uh, marginal cost is equal to price which is equal to average cost okay average total cost so let us see what is our average cost this is cost function then average cost uh, what we call average total cost is simply equal to total cost upon uh, q okay so this is a uh, q cube uh, minus 10 q square plus 35 q and to this we divide the q okay 
and it will come out to be uh, so this q is divided to each of these terms so we can write it like the, this q cube upon q minus 10 q square upon q uh, plus 35 q upon q okay so here one q will get cancelled we are left with q square minus one q will get cancelled we are left with 10 q and here q and q will get cancelled we are left with 35 okay this is the average cost for the individual firm okay what is the marginal cost marginal cost is i told you uh, so many times it is simply the derivative of total cost function with respect to output okay that means differentiating this uh, cost function with respect to quantity will give us the marginal cost derivative of q cube so this 3 will become coefficient so we have 3 q and this is subtracted by 1 exponent is subtracted by 1 this will become 3 q square okay so i have uh, shown it a number of times how do we uh, do the derivative thing okay i hope you know it very well then we have the derivative of q square is 2 q so 2 into 10 is 20 we have 20 q plus uh, 35 the derivative of q is obviously 1 so we are left with 35 okay so now using these conditions price should be equal to average cost and price should be equal to marginal cost these two will give us since both are equal to price that means this equality also holds that average cost is equal to marginal cost okay that means ac is equal to mc okay which implies here so what is our average cost that is q square q square minus 10 q uh, plus 35 should be equal to our marginal cost this very point where our marginal cost and average costs are equal okay so we have here 3 q square minus 10 q plus 35 okay now let's take all these terms to rhs and rewrite it so we can write like this 3 q square if we transpose this it will get subtracted we have q square then we have minus actually it is here 20 okay sorry for this very mistake okay then we have minus 20 q if we transpose this minus 10 q it will become plus 10 q okay plus we have 35 transposing this 35 it will get subtracted okay is equal to 0 okay so 3 q square minus 1 q square is 2 q square minus 20 plus 10 these are like terms we can add or subtract them so we are left with uh, 10 q okay Th 35 minus 35 is equal to 0 so we this is equal to 0 and we can do one thing here if we take q common we are left with 2q minus 10 is equal to 0 which implies 2q minus 10 is equal to transposing this uh, to rhs it will get divided 0 divided by q is 0 so that's it okay so then we have 2q transposing this will become positive that implies q is equal to 10 upon 2 which means we got two ones are two fives are ten so we got equilibrium quantity or optimal quantity that uh, individual uh, firm will produce in the perfect competition so as he is also maximizing his profit and earning zero economic profit will be five okay so q is five that means uh, individual firm's optimal output level will be five okay now to get the price it is very simple just plug a q is equal to for you in ac or mc to get price okay so since p is equal to let's uh, take it into the ac function ac okay now put the value of q is equal to for you in ac function okay to get the price that means a uh, p is equal to what is our ac ac function is this in this ac function we need to put the value of q is equal to 5 okay so in place of q square we have 5 square minus 10 the value of uh, q is 5 so this is 5 plus 35 
which implies you go punsa minus pansa plus pansa. Okay, that means uh, punsa and valo pansa that drive minus 25 uh, plus 25 that comes out. Sorry, this is 35. Okay, I just get carried away at times. So, pansa and valo punsa that is equal to the okay, that means the price uh, which will be prevailing in the market will be 10 okay now we need to find the market quantity okay how much quantity is transacted uh, in the industry okay so to calculate the market quantity market quantity okay mm. This is our market quantity function, okay? Since D is equal to this thing, this D means quantity is a function of price. So, in place of D, we can write Q, okay? So, Q is equal to 2500 minus 200, the value of price, that is 10, okay? This comes out to be 2500 minus uh, 2000. I hope I am making calculation right. Punsan Shatan Walu Zusas, that comes out to be 500, okay? So, total lets us uh, denoted by Q subscript I, okay, that means uh, total industry output is equal to 500, okay, that means the industry is producing 500 units of output, okay, now, very simple, we got Q is equal to 5, this was the output that was produced by an individual firm each firm is producing five units and total units in the market are 500 units okay that means so uh, that means what does this imply if uh, in the market we have 500 units are being transacted okay this is the market okay this is the market output and each firm so each firm is producing five units okay then how many firms will be there okay therefore number of firms will be equal to that means let us write n into n denotes uh, number of firms into quantity produced by individual firm okay or uh, let's uh, denote it by that is total uh, quantity in the market is for you okay is equal to q subscript m that means n that number of firms into quantity produced by each firm is equal to total quantity in the market okay so n into so each firm is producing for you so should be equal to total units produced in the industry is equal to 500 that means n is equal to 500 if we transpose this will get divided that means 5 ones are 500 are 500 are 500 okay that means number of firms in the industry will be 100 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video let me repeat it again how do i solve this question we were being given uh, we were being given the cost function of identical each firm in an industry okay cost function was this very function okay uh, obviously cost is a function of uh, quantity and the industry market demand we were also being given the uh, total industry demand and that was given by this very function we were being told that firms are maximizing profit we have to find the number of firms okay so options were so uh, first let me write it here so our correct answer should be this very answer okay because n is equal to n denotes number of firms okay then what we did here we first wrote this cost function okay now since we are being told about the long run in the long run firms earn zero profit okay by zero profit we mean zero economic profit zero economic uh, profit means when price is equal to average total cost i am writing here average cost it is same here okay so average cost when price is equal to average cost so at this point at the minimum 
point of average uh, total cost go so at that point the firms are earning zero profit okay if it were like this uh, let us say if it were like this ac was like this so the difference between these two will would have given us the uh, what we call the abnormal profit but uh, since we are being told about the long run but in the long run we are at this point so this curve does not exist here okay and obviously we have zero economic profit also we are being told that the firms are profit maximizers that means price should be equal to marginal cost okay by profit maximization we mean price should be equal to marginal cost which should be equal to marginal revenue obviously okay now what is our average cost this is total cost divided by q you will get average cost what is marginal cost just to differentiate this total cost function with respect to q will give you the marginal cost after that uh, since we have these two conditions p should be equal to ac and p should be equal to mc since the left hand side is uh, same we can equate rhs okay that means average cost should be equal to mc so solving for q we got the value of q is equal to 5 that means each individual firm is producing 5 units okay so um, now price is equal to ac means price uh, is equal to ac means that we just need to plug the value of ac sorry plug the value of q is equal to 5 optimal quantity produced by one firm in its cost function to get the price sorry in its average cost function okay when p is equal to ac that means we got the equilibrium price in the market is equal to is equal to 10 okay after that what we need to do we just need to see the mar market quantity okay total quantity transacted in the market okay so here we have a total quantity total demand function for the industry is being given as 2500 minus uh, 200 p okay now just plug the value of p is equal to 10 in this uh, industry demand function to get the total quantity produced in the industry okay now since total quantity produced in the industry is 500 and each firm is producing 5 okay then that means total number of firms will be equal to total quantity uh, in the industry divided by quantity uh, produced by each firm okay that will give us the number of firms when we solve this we got the value of n is equal to 100 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you